From VTV Channel 6 Studios in downtown Vernal, this is Local Point with your host, Chris Piner. And welcome to Local Point, brought to you by Strata Networks. I'm Dale Allred, filling in today for Chris Piner. And joining me in the studio is Eric Miller and Trinity Bowden from the Dinosaur Roundup Rodeo. And we're excited to have you back. Hello. I guess that means it's almost rodeo time. It's getting close. That's a big time in Vernal, right? Yes, sir. Absolutely. So glad to have you both here. First, tell us just a little bit about yourselves and what you do with the committee and your involvement. Eric, if you will, please. Uh, Eric Miller, I'm the president this year. Um, I help out with the arena. I basically just do whatever, whatever comes up that needs done. Um, it's exciting, but uh, that's it for me. Trinity's the vice president. Okay, great. And Trinity, tell us just a little bit about you and why you're involved with the Dinosaur Roundup. Well, I enjoy doing the rodeo thing and helping out the community. I do the tickets, um, grand entry, vice president, as Eric said. So, stay pretty busy. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot to do. I, uh, because you know the, our staff here at VTV, we've been involved with the rodeo. We've had a chance to see inside a little bit more than the general public. It really is surprising what it takes to put on an, a quality event like this. It's it's a big deal. And the cool thing is, it's got such a, a great history. Uh, what a great story the Dinosaur Roundup Rodeo has to tell when you look back over a period of a number of years. So let's talk about that just briefly, the history, where, we, where it started and how we got to where we are today. Okay, I've, seen, I've seen records back to the 1920s where this Vernal Rodeo was started by uh, the Blue Mountain Boys, basically a bunch of kids out of Jensen just killing a weekend. Uh, it has been a PRCA rodeo now for 63 years. Wow. Um, we've, we've, we've been here a long time and got better every year. Well, um, and that, that's, that's a big deal to be a, a PRCA rodeo. You know, there's, there's special things that come along with that that has significance. Uh, for someone who maybe isn't really familiar with that significance, Describe that a little bit, what it means to be PRCA sanctioned. Be well, their events. to be PRCA sanctioned, those are the professionals. Those are the, they're not just the backyard boys anymore. These are the professional cowboys. Um, we've, we are the single largest rodeo in the state of Utah as far as contestants and prize money. Um, wow. We've been nominated eight times as one of the top five large outdoor PRC rodeos in the nation. So we, um, this, is a, this is a big rodeo as far as the rodeo world is concerned. Not just Vernal, but uh, the whole rodeo community looks, looks at Vernal. Yeah. All the cowboys that are at the NFR, you know, they, they're, they're here, they're at our rodeo, so. Yeah, that's really impressive when we compare the Dinosaur Roundup with, with other even larger areas. Um, larger cities, other places around the state that potentially have you know, such great resources, even in a rural area like this. That's really impressive. What would you say it is that has helped the Ro Dinosaur Roundup to get to that point? What are the driving things behind the rodeo that's helped it become what it is? The, the biggest thing is the, the volunteers. Um, the, without the hundreds of people that help, and, and there's a handful of us that work all year long. Um, that's what drives it, and, and the, the community support. We get a lot of support from the cities and the county. Uh, without them, we, there's, I, there's no way we could do what we do and, and maintain the status that we hold right now. Sure. Uh, but the volunteers, those are, those are the big ones. They're awesome. You know, the people that come out and help uh, with everything from hauling water to the shoot hands to, to the shoots to production to video. Um, it takes a ton of people to get this done. So, so if uh, volunteers and sponsors are a major engine behind this thing and its success, for those who are watching today and interested in being involved as a volunteer, possibly a sponsor, um, how would they go about that? How do you recommend they contact the committee? How can they become involved at some level? Uh, Vernal Rodeo at uh, gmail.com is a, a website that, or uh, an email address. They can email any interest uh, into us. 790-1307 um, uh, is, a, is a rodeo phone they can call 
and the person that answers that phone has all the answers. I'm guaranteed. <laughs> I've been told that. Yeah, she does. Yeah, I would encourage people to call that number just to see what happens. Seven nine zero thirteen zero nine two. Okay, good. So before we wrap up this first segment, let's get down to the details of the event. It's coming right up. It's in July every year. People know that, but let's talk about the dates, the place, and, and all that important information. July 11th, 12th, and 13th right here at Vernal's Western Park and Trey you can give information on tickets. You can buy tickets online at vernalrodeo.com or the downtown ticket booth will be open I believe Monday the 7th. Okay so the online purchasing on the website is open now right people have access they can start getting their tickets mm -hmm. it's a good idea to do that it's a popular event and uh, might as well get the tickets now and get ready to go, yes. correct? Mm -hmm. Good. Well, it's so good to have both of you here. In fact, we're going to be right back uh, after this brief message from our sponsor, Strata Networks, and learn more about the Dinosaur Roundup and everything that it has to offer in 2013. We'll be right back. Strata Networks is proud to bring the first true 4G LTE network to the Uinta Basin. 4G LTE is the most powerful mobile broadband available anywhere in the world. With speeds up to 10 times faster than 3G, you can stay connected like never before. Video chat without delay, stream HDTV or movies in an instant, and download or upload in seconds. For details, visit us in Roosevelt or Vernal or call 622-5007. More speed, more power. 4G LTE, only from Strata Networks. Welcome back to Local Point. We're here with Eric Miller and Trinity Bowden, both from the Dinosaur Roundup Rodeo. So glad to have you here. We love rodeo time in Vernal, and it's a great celebration, really, for the, the whole area, and even beyond that, right? We have people that come in from everywhere to be part of the event. It's a big deal. We do. We have people that come in from all over the basin. We have people that come from out of town, and I, and I know the year before last, there was a couple from Sweden that this was the first rodeo they'd ever been to. Oh, wow. Well, we way found to start them, them off right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Well, the performance, of course, you know, that's the big show. But anyone who's been around Rodeo Week in Vernal for very long will know there's a whole lot of events and, and other things in conjunction with Rodeo Week that just makes it a fantastic week and, and a lot of things happening. So let's walk through those events um, and the things leading up to the Rodeo and then we'll get right into the, the details of the performance too. Well, we, we kick off with the 4th of July parade. We, we involve ourselves in that one. Um, of course, we'll have Wednesday will be the special rodeo for the special kids from 4 to 6. We look forward to having that. We'll have the uh, country showdown Wednesday night. What am I missing? Thursday, Friday, Thursday we'll have slack uh, during the day for the timed event cattle, the timed events. Um, you know, and, and if I could interrupt, that's an interesting thing. And I, I think maybe a lot of people outside of rodeo maybe don't really understand what that is, but that's kind of something that's kind of fun and, and open to, to people to get involved. Just a quick explanation yeah. of slack maybe for those it's, who are not involved. It's a lot of the timed events and stuff that you have. We can't fit everybody in the performance because of time strictures and stuff. So they come and they, they just come and they, there's team roping, High down roping and barrel racing. Barrel racing is usually slack after the rodeo performances on Friday, but they tie down in team roping and they come in and it's during the day, 8 o'clock is when it starts and it's free to the public to come watch. And a lot of the time, your big name cowboys, that's where they are because they're wanting that and they're wanting to go on to the next rodeo. So that's yeah. a good time to come see them. What an interesting point. Yeah. People probably wouldn't realize they'd have the chance to see some of those. They see the top cowboys in the in world side. right there. Yeah, and yep. it's for the excessive cowboys, like Trudy said, the ones we can't fit in the performance. Yeah, so. well, what, a, what a great way to come out and add to the Rodeo Week yeah. experience. And that, right? one, that one is and free, free. To, free to the public to watch. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's a good time. Good. So a lot of extra activities, things going on, and we mentioned in the first half, but people can remember uh, to go to the website vernalrodeo.com, right? right? Lots of information, details. If you need to print out schedules or get more information, Correct. be sure you visit uh, the website vernalrodeo.com. So let's let's narrow in then on the performance. What are we expecting to see new this year? I, I hear there's a pretty awesome spe specialty act coming in, other, other cool stuff. We have Gary Sandstead coming out of Colorado. He races two chuck wagons, four horses on each wagon, and they're going to blow in the arena smoke them around a couple of times and blow out. I think it's going to be fast and exciting. It's, I'm excited for them. You, got to be, you want to be in your seats and watching that one, right? Yeah, you don't want to, you're not going to want to miss it. I'll guarantee <laughs> that. 
And our barrel man is Pumpkin Town, and he has a pretty nifty little clogging act. He's actually a national champion clogger, and he puts that into his act. And wow. He's, he's a neat guy, and he'll, he'll be fun for the rodeo. So some really fun stuff, entertaining things on, on top of the, the traditional rodeo events. Uh, Wild West events, those are unique to our rodeo, right? Or for the most part, let's talk about that. We've had them, um, and they're not, they're not new, but uh, this year there's some change-ups. Um, Thursday night, of course, is our family night. And also our tough enough to wear pink night. Mm -hmm. um, so for, for that night, for the Wild West event, it's going to be a youth um, goat goat chasing thing. That sounds fun. Um, yeah. Bring your cameras for that. Yeah, bring your cameras for that. That's going to be fun. That's going to uh, uh, something we can do to, to get the kids involved. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, Friday night's going to be the wild cow milking again, and then Saturday night will be the hide race. Okay. Well, those are always pretty exciting. That seems to draw as much excitement sometimes as the actual uh, sanctioned events, right? That's <laughs> yes. pretty big. It's yes. big time around here. That's fun yeah. stuff. Okay, so uh, a great lineup for Rodeo Week. Let's talk again about uh, the details of the events, where, how we can get tickets, how people can get information. Let's make sure we have uh, our viewers well informed on how they can be involved in Rodeo Week. It's July 11th through the 13th. Tickets are available on the website at vertilrodeo.com or the downtown booth starting Monday the 7th. You can go to the chamber also and they'll aid you in purchasing them um, online. Vernal and Duchesne. And they'll, you, you can print them out there or they can email them to you, but they won't actually have tickets there, they'll just aid you in buying them. So we do, that's, we do have to mention, Dale, that we have a really hot after party this year. Yes. Yeah. Mackenzie's Mill uh, is coming. They, they won a national Battle of the Bands competition. We actually had the chance to see them in Vegas mm -hmm. during the NFR. Um, right. They're amazing. They, there's a, a clip of them on our website as well. Okay. Yes, they're a great band. Well, I had a chance to see a clip of their performance, and I was really impressed. So we're in for a treat. Yeah, come and enjoy that. Um, all three nights this year, right? That's that's yep. pretty great. So, yeah, we'll lots of entertainment, lots of fun. Yes. No reason to not be part of Rodeo Week this year in Vernal, right? No, there's no reason not to be part of it. Of course, um, we do need to re remind we have the the horseshoe tournament and an open barrel racing on Saturday at 10 o'clock. Okay. Um, so, so the local girls, there will be. Uh, professional ladies barrel racing, but there will also be local girls, so give them a chance so to So the Saturday is the day of the performance, yes. right. right, on the, the 13th. Day, 10. Give people yeah. a chance to, to compete with the pros, or play wow. with them anyways. That's great. Yeah. Well, a little something for everyone. As always, we appreciate you coming in and representing the committee and the hard work that happens there. So thanks to the both of you for coming in, and best of luck with a great performance this year. Thank you. So, thank thank you. you. And thank you for watching today's show. That's all for now. Please join us next time right here on VTV Channel 6.